Hello, it's MJ. Today we are in Tucumcari, New Mexico, and I'm gonna do my like collective vibe. It's my favorite tarot reading to do of all of them. I take the elements into account. I also consider the yin and the yang um, and the pull from infinity. So it's super cool. It's a neat way to figure out, you know, how you're moving it with the flow. And I hope you're doing well today. It's beautiful here, but there has been some storms. Card number one. This is a yin versus yang. We'll do masculine versus feminine. Okay. And the masculine side, we have the ace of swords. So we're putting a crown on a sword. There is lots of growth or opportunity being amounting from this, but this is um, with the man, the masculine side. It's your job to take care of your family, you know, like to that portion of you is using their instincts and brain and to take care of, you know, your body and you and your family, the roots, the chakras, that too. I might even do the chakras here at the end. On um, the feminine side, we get the king of cups. And the king is, you know, obviously a guy. <laughs> but I like uh, the water here because of the healing and you're taking care of yourself. And watching others succeed and you're, you're, you're glad. I'm not sure if you've created these opportunities for them or not but it's making you happy. And the anytime I have a hierarchy card, I follow it up. And so the King of Cups for your feminine side is going to be the Ten of Cups. And this is Disneyland. So I think you're having very, a very great time with the feminine aspects of life. So you're being creative. You are nurturing and taking care of yourself and the people that you love. And over here, um, like the masculine portion in relation to the feminine side. I think, you know, maybe a little work on the share some of this well and work on some of the aspects that are not so feminine. Okay, the quickly, because I'm trying to make this a little quicker for everybody, the uh, infinite pull is that it's the pool is coming from the universe it is being the lover's card which it shows up here because you're being guided you are using which is cool here because this is mixing your masculine and feminine portions and you're you're being able to utilize and dispose both of them and, and that's what they're pulling for but they're pushing for, for justice well, how great is that? Because they, that would be, you know, they're, they're pulling and pushing. So they're pushing for justice in, within you. So go dig inside, you know, analyze yourself a little more. Do some consideration here because there are some things that the universe is going to push you to do later if you don't do it now. Some work inside. So for, well, I'll put that here. The elements, yeah. <laughs> Interestingly, fire <laughs> turns up as the Ace of Cups. This is a very much water card. It's new beginnings. It is opportunities and growth. So for the fire, we have an Ace of Cups. And I, I like to, when I look at the elements, see how see see the little fires in the water you're healing yes and you're doing it all yourself oh oh or the next one so i'll do fire and water and then we will do land or earth and the last one will be air for the water well, look at that. 
she is the nine of pentacles she's beautiful she's older and wiser and she has her falcon and she controls her finances her life and she can enjoy the moments around her so your yeah, cleansing is working you're doing the work okay for earth this is all about being grounded the devil which just basically means the rebirth you're maybe attached to some things in the material world that are sort of holding you back a little bit and it's not a card to finalize it's a card to realize and understand that the forces of negative are constantly around us and don't forget to you know stay grounded by battling and working when it comes to your air attributes the push the um <laughs> not the push and pull i guess it's the uh, more of or less like a message to focus on within the different elemental areas um okay so for air it is the the knight of pentacles with the knight of pentacles he knows what he wants and air Well, fire would fight for it. Air would use the skills and I'm, I'm just trying to relate the cards together. This one is actually the, it's a, it, he's on a, a black horse. So, and he is not giving up his prize, his goal. <gasps> Weird stuff with the lights again. So, it's blowing in the wind when it's the air card. And I'm going to back that one up with this. And that's victory. Straight up. <laughs> you make it happen and others get the reward. I see you sitting on your horse. And there might be a few little strings still that, you know, you have to work through. But everybody's proud and happy of you. You did it for them. Now for spirit. Now this one, I am going to shuffle because this is to me the most important message of the reading. This is an overall message from spirit. So I really have to step outside of myself here. And get outside and open up. I should be able to share this one. I've got my, my newer yin yang turquoise ring. Um, and this is newer too, it's from the Indians. Um, that was in Arizona. I can't tell you which specific state or um, city that was in. Do any of you do aromatherapy? We picked a bunch of wild sage at the house we were staying at in San Diego. And it's wonderful. We can do cleansing of our property. I can just make little, I actually drank some tea a little while ago, but it's it's white sage. There's no salvia, fever, and blah, blah in it. So, but it's very calming and relaxing. What does the spirit have to say to you? They say the most important thing that you might be missing from them is the page pentacles you're gonna have to have some finances you're gonna have to figure out a way as the page to create the financial stability so that you can help everyone else and yourself wow a lot of pentacles in this reading and it's 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 there under your fingertips it's coming to you this financial stability and you're gonna use it to help everybody. Oh my gosh, another pentacle. The queen of pentacles. The guard is overflowing. This is wonderfully um, perfect to fall here. You're gonna use that fire and abundance galore. 
and I don't just think this is financially because I think that for us it's not finances that make us happy but you're gonna have the financial stability to use all your other talents Wonderful. now very quickly let's check in on your chakras and we'll do it from the top to the or from the bottom to the top let's go root to crown this is something that I'd really like to do for myself this is seven cards I'll make it quick I try and I, I really love this one it just shows me a few little areas to focus on for each of the different chakras so let's do it like this root chakra change 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 is in the air um, you're gonna see different it's not what what you thought it was there is some some serious changes you're finding new ways to stay grounded. It's very important to stay grounded in connection. Ooh, for the sacral or orange, this is, you know, the reproductive, the sexual, the, I, I always think like hormones affect that a lot, but I think that you might be stuck from something, stuck on something from the past. And I, I do believe <laughs> that you're gonna have to get over it. And just to open up and clear your sacral chakra so that you can love again the way you deserve to be loved and the way that others deserve to be loved by you for the sacral or sorry um solar plexus i get distracted by the cards judgment is what comes up for that and you are changing and maturing in your health aspects you're starting to realize that it's not so bad to take good care of yourself you're noticing you're hearing information that maybe once sounded not so great because when it comes to the it's the yellow chakra and this is your organs everything internally and that's where actually most of the real hormonal stuff comes into play but you're doing healthy things for yourself and considering and trying some stuff that you didn't before and with so much information out there we are lucky people these days and we're noticing how much better we feel so that one's not blocked and, and and I don't feel I feel like there's change happening in the root chakra area you're learning new ways to ground yourself but definitely maybe do a meditation for your sacral chakra because and the, the solar plexus is fine as well in my opinion from what the cards are saying so I always when I have the yellow and the, the red in key and tune and I'm I, and I know that the yellow is blocked like I'm the I'll do like a binaural and isochronic tones sounds I mean of course first of every day I do meditations for the balancing and cleansing of everything but if that one needs specific work so I recommend that all right, for your heart chakra, I mean, this is balance and this is control. We get the chariot. And it is, and it, it's open, it's, it's your sharing. And that's not close, your heart chakra. There's so much information about that out there lately and everybody understands that. Oh, throat chakra. This one's definitely closed <laughs> or blocked in some way. You've got some blockage going on. There's some battling going on either within you or because of your environment that's not letting you say what you need to say. You need to be able to express yourself clearly and fully. I would meditate on this one too. I would play the music in the background while I went about my day because I think it's subliminally or not. It's not subliminal messages. I like those, but I, I can't recommend them for everybody. Um, it's the the beats and the, the tones of the universe and when you're hearing that in the background it, our brains are super smart they have more communication methods than we know next comes the third eye chakra and there's a lot more um, Right now, if you tend to 
try very hard to not so much understand each other, but especially when it comes to twin flames and things like that, I, I feel like maybe you need a little break from reading the other humans and people because you're doing great. Gosh, don't let them bring you down. And for the grown, it's sort of a mixed card. So definitely do some um, a meditation on your third eye too. I don't know if there's some blockage going on there or if it's a miscommunication. I get more of a miscommunication with that card. And like you're interpreting the situation the way you believe it to be true, but it's actually maybe not so bad. It's happening totally different than you think. And for the crown, this is a mixed card. This is, um, you, you have all the spiritual resources and like, you know, you're, you're passing them out, but I always look at this like maybe sometimes you need somebody to give back some of that, you know, just so that to balance out the scale because you're not lording over anyone and you wouldn't ever want anyone to think that we are all equal and all even. So my advice to you based on the chakra portion here is that if I was you, I would type in to your search criteria, sacral chakra cleanse. I would do throat chakra cleanse and third eye chakra cleanse. Something about this reading in one way, shape, or form. I think it's where the positive cards are falling and it, it's stemming towards some inner child things. And, and that's the whole thing overall that's making me think that some inner child work. And I like to use hypnosis for things like that personally. But I really hope you all enjoyed my reading and I hope that you'll watch again and I can share your, in your journey with you and help all of us live out our destinies and heal each other with one love. Queen of Cups. We will be cleansed together. And we will help each other. We will teach and share. You may purchase a personal reading. My email's in the bottom. But if you don't, it doesn't matter to me. I love you. Thank you for all who do. Have a blessed day. As long as you stay thankful and stay grateful, you will be blessed. Namaste.